I first came across people attempting to argue in favor of hard determinism a while back, a few years ago. And let's leave aside the idea that arguing in favor of hard determinism is somewhat insane and that you're trying to achieve a result by trying to convince somebody else to adopt your position. Uh, whereas in terms of hard determinism, there is no conviction of anything and there's no agency uh, to get people to engage, to believe a certain thing, to allow themselves to be enlightened, as it were. Let's forget about that part. Um, but it strikes me, however, the only argument that I've ever heard in uh, making a case for hard determinism is a bald assertion. Um, it's almost like the idea of hard, hard determinism is placed out there and people say, disprove this. Um, if anyone has any anything that contradicts that view, I'd like to hear it. In short, what I'd like to hear is how does somebody arrive at a position of hard determinism? It's being um, discussed right now on YouTube. Explain to me how you get from, say, a position of non-position in terms of causality or whatever you want to call it, or cosmology even, uh, from there, from no position at all, to hard determinism. As it is right now, I find hard determinism a matter of faith. Um, it just sets this position up and says, I challenge anyone to disprove this. I'm Humpty Dumpty. I challenge somebody to knock me off the, uh, the fence here. Um, the wall. Anyone care to um, anyone care to address that? Any hard determinists out there that say that, no, no, there is actually a rational progression of thought that takes us and convinces me uh, from a position of no opinion to one of hard determinism? Um, I can't for the life of me conceive of any argument that would that would result in that in, in someone adopting a hard deterministic position based upon consideration of the evidence, not as just a bald assertion that they then invite anyone to challenge. Uh, there's something about something along the lines of absence of evidence doesn't mean evidence of absence, etc. But just thought I'd throw that out there.